Hey everyone, welcome to my first RPG developer backing video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I believe is going to end up being one of the most powerful tools in this engine. And that's, that'll be the subgraphics function. But before we do that, uh, I'm going to go over something that this engine can do, which is fantastic. So we're going we're gonna to put this rock here and we're going to put it onto our play field. So you see, you know, it's quite nice. And something that this engine can do is manipulate its position, angle, and scale adjustment. So it's like something in Blender, you know, you can spin it. can manipulate the position so they even goes through the floor so you know if you only wanted half of that rock there you go you know if you wanted to move it you can move it wherever you like and then even in scale adjustment you can manipulate its size and shapes so essentially if we were to put another one down I mean, that is obviously not the same rock, which is quite nice. You know, now, now we have much more variety out of our simple objects. So if I were to show you this, let's say if we move, you know, let's re rescale that one and let's move it over. See, now we can do something like this. And now we're making whole new rock formations, but you say to yourself, um, I mean, I really like, I really like how this looks. Uh, I wish I had that as a model, you know, instead of now we have two separate objects and they're just colliding, you know, can we select both? Sure. But you see, you know, now it's kind of weird, you know there's still two separate objects you know things have kind of moved now you know it's not a it's not a perfect way to do things so what we're gonna do is look at the sub graphics tool and we're gonna make one whole object that we can use wherever and whenever we'd like alright so we'll go to resources then we go to 3d stamps and we go to add And from here, we'll go to, let's go to rock. See what we have to choose from. You know what? Pick this one. Okay, it's been added. Now from here, if you look on this side, you'll see where it says sub graphic. And we'll turn that on. And that's opened up another menu. And we're now in the sub graphics sub menu. <laughs> okay, so from here, specify the data to be used. We'll click over here in this empty box. And we'll now pick another sub graphic. Uh, let's pick this rock. Yeah, sure. The one that looks like a turd. <laughs> yep. All right. Now, let's make some adjustments here. As you see, it's been added, and you can see two bounding boxes in there. So let's make another adjustment. Yeah, that, that'll work. So now these two objects are essentially, they can be just saved as is, and they'll be combined into one whole new object. From here, you can change its position. change its angle and you can change the scale now we have an entirely new rock object if we hit OK 
and we go to basic set, there it is. We have what is essentially those two models have now become one. Let's put it out in the field. And you can put it as many times as you like. And you, I believe you also get all of the other perks of now. We have even more different objects. Man, such a powerful engine. So that's basically the tool and how you use it. Just to keep it short, uh, I think this function is definitely going to have a profound effect on the way that people create models and put things together in this engine. You know, especially modular ones. Uh, how you design those are definitely going to have an effect. And I love it. I think it's fantastic. Peace.